Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we had a conveniently mistimed opportunity for an episode break because I was accidentally leaving that cowboy show we were working on and came across this guy here, Hugh Bliss. And, um, well, let's find out about this guy. So, Hugh Bliss. What brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Tales. Um, darn, I was about to say something, but I completely, completely forget what it was, so, um, moving on. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan! Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime! Well... I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> this guy is sufficiently creepy. That is what I wanted to say. 6,373,411.98 Sam? Lucky guess. Does <laughs> it? Think of something else. Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my, and that's unspeakably depraved. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> I, I do not want to know what goes on in Max's mind. What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the ten-word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words? Oh my! How about prismatology is the answer? Unicorns are pretty, and rainbows too! That's ten. Okay. I, I, just, re I just remembered. Uh, towards the start of Sam Max, the first episode, Looked on TV and there was a commercial for this prismatology thing. Ah, so that was him. Interesting. What's the story on this prismatology flap duo? Prismatology is only the greatest intellectual, emotional, and spiritual revolution ever to grace this fair planet. Thank goodness we have someone who can give an impartial assessment. Shh. Tell us more. Join prismatology today. And you too can experience the magic of true bliss. That goes against everything I've ever hoped for. And yet now I'm strangely attracted to the notion. Snap out of it, little buddy. We've got a case to solve. Hmm. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mo. Bird Sienna! Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. You haven't heard of any other color? Y your book has more colors than this, those! Red, Fred. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. Is it real, or is it illusion? Hmm. I do I remember. You to change colors again. Okay, pick a color, any color. I do remember the situation with this. Return to your usual albino cube. Wow. That looks uncomfortable. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color, any color. Oh, uh, thanks for the sub, Theo. Just now notice that. But I did notice it. 
So... Yay, I noticed it. Do blue, Hugh. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Let's go with the answer we're supposed to now. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Ah. Say, you bliss. Can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate-covered puppies. Chocolate-covered chocolate puppies. So where's the picture, magic man? Oh. I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> I bet the person who uh, played this guy had a had a had a fun time. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? <coughs> yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> So, let's see here. We got this picture of Sam and Max and Green Blue Bl or Green Hue Bliss. That is important. Maybe some of you will remember why. But um as long as we're here How about another picture, Hue Bliss? No. How about this? Instead of a new picture, we'll just recycle the old one. Save the earth. Sure, whatever. Gather round. Well, at least he's the correct color still. Emetics. Life troubling your digestion. Reality blocking your passages. Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Hmm. Already got a copy. I read it every morning on the can. Multicolored happiness indeed. I feel like there's a double meaning. I think this Hugh Bliss guy is a bit of a wacko. True, but he's a colorful wacko. Well, we've got things to do. And things to be! Things to be? Like what? I'm curious now. So Myra's talk show is actually right there. Um, hmm. Director. Sam, I've just deduced a vital piece of information in the case. That is where the director sits. And people say you've been mailing it in. I'm trying to decide whether I want to try going into Myra's right now. Surely there's something that's stopping us. It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests. You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo. Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Bah! I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. 
Seriously, we're officers of the law, more or less, and we'll have to insist that you free the hostages. Of course. Just as soon as the show's over. And when is that exactly? Oh, who can say? We still have so many gifting opportunities. I just found a year's supply of industrial strength soap backstage. I think I'll give that away. Or else have a valuable lesson on curing potty mouth. Hmm. Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... May we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. So... Sam and Max are going to have to become famous to get in there. That's what it is. I knew there was a reason why we were going to be doing all these little shows. Can... May we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself! Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording contract and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course! What kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? Okay, I'm going to want to write that down. Recording contract evidence of scandal clip from TV show. Well, just a little while ago, we were trying to do something in a TV show, but we kind of left it. Should probably get back to that some point. Your eyes look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And you should really be flossing. You certainly sound like your normal self. Why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's just, after opening presents from well-wishers, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. Don't be alarmed, but I'm beginning to suspect that you might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. Hypnotized or not, that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all -atry. Some more hypnosis. At the end of Sam and Max episode 1, there was a hypnotized guy who was a fan of Myra's show. But I didn't consider that she would be hypnotized. Are you sure you're not hypnotized? Of course not. I'm just inspired. And even more so than usual. Hmm. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? All right, so that is things that we need to be doing. Recording contract, evidence of scandal, clip from TV show. Well, while it's on my mind, we do have this photo with Hugh Bliss. I need to try to figure out how to actually get out of here. Is this thing on? Now hold on, before you go out there, will Max say anything different now? I think Myra Stump might be hypnotized. That would explain... What would that explain, Sam? It might explain why she'd do something weird, like hold her audience captive for three and a half days and try to give them stuff. It's true. Generosity isn't natural. It's even kind of scary. Who do you think would want to hypnotize Myra? Almost everybody? We've got to get onto that set and find out what's going on. Well, we've got things to do. And things to be! So... 
I just want to point out... Here is my uh, save file from the last time I played this game. Now, there's still some things that I did in this save file that I haven't done yet in... Um, now. But we're definitely getting to the point where things are blind, because I definitely do not remember talking to Myra. Also, um, I have no idea why my old save file has a picture, but none of my new files have had pictures. Something weird about that. How do we get out of here now? Is the old guy still here? The chicken? Nope, chicken's gone. Embarrassing idol door, game show door, cooking show door. How do we get out of here? Wait, was it through here? Uh. I think it was actually. This is. I think this is where we came from. Be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly like how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! <laughs> oh, here we go. So, the entrance we came through to get into this place suddenly became the set for um, an American Idol knockoff. Sure. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and do the tax that I was really wanting to get to. So, let's see here. So, in the first episode of our recording of Episode 2, we came to Sybil's, and she's no longer into in the tattoo business, or the, well, she wasn't in the first place. I mean, she was, but that was before we started playing any of these games. Psychotherapy. She's no longer a psychotherapist. Instead, she uh, runs a tabloid magazine, and she wanted a picture of three beings in one shot, and one of them needs to be an alien. We haven't found an alien, but got a picture of somebody who looks like an alien. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Available at newsstands now. Awesome. 
So that'll take care of one of Myra's, uh, conditions. Evidence of scandal. Cool. Anything hey else? Guys. Nope, no new options there. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. Keep watching what supplies? I don't have the picture, so, uh, maybe that means there's gonna be a thing. Oh, let's head over to Bosco's and check out the newsstand. Run, you big dog! Go faster. There needs to be a run button. There it is. We're famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this building will eventually be occupied. Come here, you. I got a newspaper. What do you say about it? Let's go. Okay. Okay, what if we do this then? Uh -uh. Actually, on uh, thinking on it, I don't think I talked to Max while we were in Sybil's, so let's actually head into Sybil's and see if he says anything of interest while we're in there. No thanks. W Put the newspaper away first. Max, let me ask you something. Sam, for the last time, it's I before E except after sustained gunfire. Are you getting taller, little buddy? Maybe. I've been doing ear exercises. Hmm. You know, thinking on that whole singing situation, I figure I figure it makes sense a guy with ears like that would have an ear for good singing. Although it's pretty obvious that that singing was pretty bad. Never mind. I don't. Well, I think then that's um it for Sybils. Unless there's another reason that we're actually going to want to come back, but. No, that's definitely the first time I've actually dealt with this picture, I think. I think. I certainly don't remember giving it to her two years ago. But, uh, gave it to her now. Which means, now is a good opportunity for an episode break. So, I would like to thank my patrons for being my patrons, including Ixion and Drew Dracopolis. And, of course, I'm going to give a special thanks to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. We'll be right back. And when we come back, it's back to the TV station, and we're going to do one of those shows. Not sure which one.